One time, I was in a community, mostly white. A car drove by, and I could not believe what they yelled out. I was in shock. I'm like, did I hear what I just thought I heard? It brought a lot of hurtful feelings. My name is Carla. I'm 57. I blew up in a black community, South LA. As a young girl looking at magazines, I felt disconnected. I didn't see myself reflected back to me. I barely ever saw women of color. Why is that? Do I not belong? Am I not beautiful? So in growing up, you know, I did have a love-hate relationship with my hair. As a kid, who wants to sit still? Your mom's trying to get your hair all right and perfect. At 16, I started modeling, and then I saw how competitive it is. On the mainstream, white America, you have tons of jobs for white models. With jobs for minorities, they're not that often. Usually when there's a casting call, they might say, oh, we want an ethnic woman. Then you have so many black girls just trying to get this one job. So it becomes double competitive. I have the mainstream and then competition of working within my own race, but they really don't want an ethnic woman. My hair needs to be straight. My hair needs to be long. Instead of just conforming to how you would naturally look, it made me feel that if I wanted to be a part of that, I needed to change something about myself. My self-esteem dropped so low. I was just a mess because my hair shouldn't be an issue. So when I had my daughter, I wanted to make sure that it was just all positive. I wanted her to embrace her hair. I wanted her to feel beautiful. It really makes me happy that she wears it natural. And I wish when I was her age, I would have been able to wear my hair natural and feel very confident about it. What I like about Sephora is there's diversity. I see all walks of life. I see young, I see older women, I see all different nationalities. I'm excited and looking forward to them having more Black-owned products. I'm embracing my natural hair, my locks, my gray hair. It's about standing proud in who you are and embracing that. I started back modeling when I got in my 50s. I started off wanting to aspire women in my age category. I'm definitely an advocate of health and fitness whether it's weight training, cardio, I can rock a bikini. It helps you feel youthful. You're able to connect with people. Even younger women were being inspired. I want the world to know there are beautiful black women that want opportunities, that we belong, we wanna be seen, we wanna be heard. We want the door to be open, we wanna sit at the table. Women can definitely be in their 50s, 60s, and still can turn ahead. <laughs>